Now, despite months of campaigning, it appears that neither Barack Obama nor Hillary Clinton will win the Democratic nomination for the White House outright. And if that happens, the final decision will be down to the party's senior members, the so-called superdelegates. Sky's U.S. correspondent Robert Nisbet has been finding out exactly what a superdelegate is and the power they hold. Congressman Jason Altmaier is a wanted man. As a superdelegate, he holds a casting vote in the knife-edge Democratic race. He's yet to endorse either candidate, so both campaigns have him under surveillance. The Clinton campaign first reached out to me through a call from Senator Clinton herself about four weeks ago because they didn't think that this process, it was going to matter. They thought they would wrap it up early. And they've been very persistent. I've spoken with her at least twice. I've spoken with President Clinton, a lot of people involved in their campaign, and also in you know, Senator Obama's campaign. The party convention is in August. Both candidates are scrambling to convince the 300 undecided superdelegates to back them before. Hence the flurry of phone calls to get this group of elected politicians and party officials to show their true colors. I don't think it's too much pressure. I'm okay with having to do it myself. I just think that it's a flawed process, and I hope that we don't have to do it again. The superdelegate system was established after the disastrous presidential campaign of George McGovern, who won just two states against Richard Nixon in 1972. They were brought in as a safety net to help select a winning candidate. Are we going to win this election? They last came into play in 1984 when Walter Mondale secured the nomination in a tight race with Gary Hart. Bob Beckel was Mondale's campaign manager who successfully cajoled enough waverers. These are politicians who are worried about their own political future or the political future of people in their state or district. So one of the ways that we got to these people was to say, look, Mondale ran in your state and he won. Or he ran in your congressional district and he won. Now, are you really going to go against the will of the people? Don Fowler was national chairman of the Democratic Party and helped increase the number of superdelegates, but this year he believes they should swing behind the popular vote, which so far favors Obama. These people are accustomed to respecting the will of the people. These people, particularly the governors and the senators and the congressmen, have all been elected by popular vote. They believe in the popular vote. They believe that when the people vote for somebody, the people should get that person. But as both sides sharpen their focus on the next primary in Pennsylvania, Senator Clinton has to convince the superdelegates to ignore the popular vote. Look at who in the states required to reclaim the White House. Well, my constituents, like everywhere else, have strong feelings on all sides. And some of them think that I'm leaning towards Senator Obama. Some of them think I'm leaning the other way. And what, I, what you find is that they both are starting to dislike the other campaign because of all the negativity and I just don't think that's healthy for the process. Congressman Altmaier wants a superdelegate primary in June to see the contest and then believes the system should be scrapped. So in the future grassroots party members are the only kingmakers, not the select few now under such intense scrutiny. Robert Nisbet, Sky News, Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Just want to wrap up this hour of news with the latest from Paris. The AFP news agency is reporting that officials have now abandoned the Olympic torch relay that's been going on through the city.